That's better. Well, hi, everybody. This is Roger in Kansas City. And today, we're going to take a look around Hollywood. Um, a subscriber sent me a couple of pictures, or aerial photos, of the Hollywood area. Here's the iconic Hollywood sign. And another photo off to the left here is the Hollywood Reservoir and all of the surrounding neighborhoods around both of these items. Um, I, I, I don't know how to explain this without showing it, so I, I'll just show it. But this explains a lot about our world, what's going on, I think the increased negativity in the world. Uh, this has something to do with it. Not Hollywood itself, but what, but what's happening in Hollywood is a good example of what's happening around a lot of places around the world. So you, you must be thinking, well, Roger, what you talking about? Well, I'm going to show you. Let me show you really quick a uh, overhead view on Google Earth of the entire area so you get an idea of what we're looking at and we'll go to the first photos. Here we go. Okay, this is Google Maps, not Google Earth, but it'll give you a good, a good enough idea of what we're looking at, where we are. That's the Hollywood sign in the background there, and that's the reservoir, Hollywood Reservoir. And we will be looking around here, around in the reservoir, and mainly up in here uh, when we, we look around the sign area. Uh, it's just too time consuming for me to go back and forth and say, okay, this is here, this is there. So I'm just going to show you generally what's in an area and in an area just for uh, the sake of time and interest. Okay, so let's go to our first picks and we'll, we'll go around the sign here first. Okay, we're starting at the Hollywood sign. There it is, and I know it looks really bright. Um, I've been working on this new filtering process. Now, I know it looks blurry, but we are now seeing into another dimension, and I am not kidding. This is either another dimension or something that's just not in our visual range, and I think there is a distinction be between the two. Um, Remember that movie, oh, where the guy could put the sunglasses on and, and see all the the aliens walking around? They live. That's it. Well, it's kind of like that. And they live. Now, you're seeing a large mass grouping of individuals uh, all around here, and these are very big. Uh, one guy I want to point out, you see the little face here with a smile, and he's got his hand on his hip. Um, and all that. Let me hang on a second. I'll just color him in. He he really, I really saw him first. He he's doing the staying alive dance, which is quite appropriate. Now I, I don't know if these are spirits or if these are just non-corporeal beings or they're actual real beings and they're just not again within our physical dimension now there's quite a few more all throughout here we got these guys all here here's a little sad guy um this big kind of cat face back here all all, t all sorts of individuals uh this guy looks like he's taking a bow i know i know i know i'm going to hear the pareidolia crowd as usual they just wait for me to post a video um, just know you this that you shall be banned for eternity from the channel if you even say the p-word uh, so go for it it just helps me thin the herd so this is a good beginning it kind of shows you where we're going there's some better there are definitely better pictures coming up but this is a good example of what is smack on top of us. And I I have looked at some other cities just to get a, an idea. 
and some have more some have less but they're everywhere I don't know if they've always been here uh, or or if this is something new well let's just continue uh, let's go to our next picture okay this next photo before we get started I would just like to say I did a full segment on this about a half hour ago then my computer locked up and I'm not saying it never locks up but there was really no reason for it to lock up I wasn't doing anything so I had to reboot it then my I started over then the cat started making a ruckus so I had to move them now I'm just saying I've had a lot of trouble making this video physically mentally and spiritually uh, and technically everything is just fighting me on this but I'm going to get it out here we go this is a great picture um, let's start with her you, you can see this this princess here's her hair is pulled back she's wearing this crown here's her white milky white face she's got this white collar on I think that's her hand um, I, I will color some of this in we have this guy with the, here's his brown hair here's his face he's waving at us there's a smaller fellow down here a couple a couple more smaller people down here there's another face here let me go ahead and bring up the marker um, here's this guy with the brown hair he's waving there's his hand here's the princess here's her face here's her crown uh, crowns are very common in these types of pictures I have found it's almost like it's a uh, costume party you also see lots of these admiral hats like Napoleon would wear he, uh, he's not an admiral but you know what I mean uh, 1700s 1800s those great big curved hats and here we have people back here in the the background kind of watching watching on um, that's another face there there's another person here and we have quite a few things on, going on down here see this guy he's got this little kind of slanty hat um, here's this this is interesting here's, this is a profile nose eye here's, he's got this spiky hair going on it's almost like they they appear to to be this smooth looking plastic type of material um, and it could be just this is how it looks after it manifests on the camera or maybe that's how they really look I'm guessing these guys are in the 50 foot range um, I'm thinking that's a building right there that they're kind of standing around I know I'm not pointing out everything you'll see more let's go to our next photo all right this is a really good picture because it doesn't have a whole lot of spirits standing around or I call them spirits let's let's call them entities that's a good one uh, but you can see a lot of houses all throughout here except for the big giant entity that's standing right next to this house and he's just standing there waiting to do something there he is um, I, I, <laughs> I think about this stuff a lot and it's not out of I guess the realm of possibility that this uh, this guy's friends are standing outside of your house and my house right now I I wonder if somehow they're they're the guys creating a lot of negativity keeping things stirred up or are they feeding off of our energy somehow are now here's here's a good one um, is our negativity creating these thought form beings well I'd like to hear any thoughts you might have on the subject but there he is let's go on to our next photo okay this next picture um, there's a lot going on but please look over here my 
cursor is. Let me bring up my marker. We have two entities standing next to each other. Let me color in his face. Kind of shoulder. Here's his arms, his hands, his body. He's standing here. He has what appear to be these appendages sticking out of his head, which, eh, I'll call them horns. And here's his friend, cohort in evil, standing next to him. Arm out, doing something. They're both standing here. These are, in my opinion, what we would classify as being demonic or satanic beings. Now, I could be totally wrong. They might be the nicest people you'd ever want to meet. I, I used to work for a lady who would sarcastically say, I am sure they are as pure as the driven snow. Well, they could be. Um, <laughs> but they, they look kind of mean. And there's, there's a large grouping of individuals over here. Like here we have this guy here. Here's his arms. Oh, we got all kinds of entities going on. And again, <clears throat> um, I think they interact with us even in a passive way. Maybe they're not directly interacting with us, but their presence is definitely affecting a lot of us. In a, and I, again, in, a, in my opinion, in a very negative way. One more picture of around the sign, and then uh, I'm saving the best for last because the reservoir, you want to stick around for that. It's, it's awesome. I really debated on whether to show this one or not, this photo, um, but yeah, here it is. This is off to the far, if you're looking at this picture, to the far right of the sign. It's on a, it's either a parking lot or a roadway, but we have this item here, along with these two or three more items. Um, I've, I see these all the time uh, in other pictures I, I work on, and I, I believe these are some sort of vessel or ship. Now, you might ask me, why do they need vessels or ships? I don't know. But they're in the picture. And these are some smaller ones here. It looks like three. And I'm, I know these are nondescript here. So let's just kind of not focus on that. But that, that's a good one you can see. I, I see them often in mountain pictures. Himalayas, for sure. Um, and either... They're involved directly with the, the entities we're looking at, or they're separate, but they, they're in cahoots. <laughs> they, they work together. We have another large entity back here, kind of doing his thing. Um, there's some more things going on there. But that, that was the main thing I want you to see on that one. Um, I'm sure you, you're not going to drive around Hollywood and see this sitting on the side side of the road it's probably about 40 to 50 feet long and 15 feet high so okay so let's go ahead and go to our next photos that are around the reservoir all right we are down here by the reservoir the reservoir would be kind of up in this direction a little bit further than where we are right now and this big white house is a, is a good landmark it's in this picture obviously and you can see it on Google Earth or Google Maps and there are houses built throughout here um, let's go ahead and take a look at these guys right here there's a face and a whole head here's a body I've estimated these entities to be at roughly 120 feet high here and I think there's another one right here and that's a good example of the giant demons who are invading, where are we? Hollywood. Um, but they're not just 
here. They are just about everywhere. We have some strange looking beings over here as well. Um, I'd like to just bring this up for a second. Um, I'm sure a lot of you who watch my videos are familiar with um, Steve Quayle. And he has brought up more than once that, you know, Nephilim or Raphaim, whoever, will attack maybe at some point. Well, maybe the attack is well underway and has been for some time. Um, and it's a lot more insidious being that they are giant and invisible and we can't really physically fight them. Is this battle on a metaphysical, spiritual level? And it well could be. Well, okay. Let's go to our next picture. Um, this is a good start for down here. Now, I have zoomed in just a little bit. The big, tall guys are back over in this direction. Um, I think you can see this guy, but we're, we'll do a close-up. But this is also, he's not nearly as big. But I can't wait for you to see the close-up because these are not just horns that stick straight up, but they go up and kind of down like that. Um, another what appears to be a large entity over here and there's a number of entities standing right here amongst residential homes now we're, I'm going to do a close-up of this but this is by far to me the the most disturbing part of the entire presentation and let's go ahead and look at a close-up of this next this is what I think is the most disturbing thing it's an image of what appears to be a very young child it looks like a male uh, a young boy now there are some other images in front of it but you can clearly see what appears to be a very youthful looking face let me go uh, well, before I go, uh, you can plainly see entities standing all around. Let me go to the next close-up of it. Okay, here he is again. Um, again, more entities, same ones. But what is the point of having this? And I don't think this is a living character. I think this is some sort of signage. I think... This is there for a reason. Um, the worst interpretation could be some sort of pedophilia thing. Some sort of kidnapped child thing. And I, I don't like going so dark on these interpretations. But I don't think it's because it's kiddie land and they're inviting all the kids to come and play. And uh, what was the, the, the child catcher on Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? I think he was one of these guys. But that's very plainly there. And I have, <laughs> I have checked out a lot of things uh, to make sure that that's really not just actually there. Like it's some sort of child store or something. Now, the only pictures I have seen are on Google Earth or, or Google Maps. And... This is just a residential area. If uh, someone can explain this, I'll, I'll be happy to put in a, a retraction or a correction, but I don't think anybody can. Okay, so let's take a look at that demon with the horns next. All right. You, uh, you can say you saw it here on Roger in Kansas City first. But there he is. This is a, a good close-up. Here's his face. There's his very demonic-looking twisted horns. And if you can't see it, let me color it in for you. 
Um, that's pretty clear to me. And I think it will be to you also. Um, and especially the horns. They, that's really what gets me. And there's his nose, eye, mouth, chin, the whole thing with some really strange looking things in the background here and his little demon junior helper off over here let's color him in real quick okay and let's leave off with one last photo so the last photo we're looking at of this area is an overview there's our big guys there here's some smaller entities standing next to the little boy sign down over here the I can't find there he is that's where the demon with the horns is right there and he's he's just a small guy probably 30 40 feet um, I'm not sure if you can see this very well let me see if I can color it hang on a second um, that's a ship and I, I should have pointed it out earlier I don't know if it belongs to the people who live in the house maybe but that that is there I mean that's the little boy sign there we got kind of a big face here another entity here we have this guy I didn't point him out he's here um, this is for another video but these this is more signage like the little boy sign these things are not just laying on hillsides next to big homes and same up here so there's one there okay well I hope I hope I got my message through and I realize that I come across as maybe crazy sometimes maybe all the time but I'm very accustomed to hearing it <laughs> so there you are I want to leave off with one more little special I guess dedication at the end I, I hope you make it um, to see that part it's coming up next so let me say my, my goodbyes now and my thank yous. So again, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I look forward to your comments. If I, if I didn't mention it, uh, to all new subscribers and all previous subscribers and all long time early subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the channel just hit over 10,000 subscribers in the past few days, which just knocks my socks off, and I, I can't be more grateful. And it's exciting because it, it kind of validates what I do, even if you think this is informative or entertaining or both. I, I, I hope you like the videos. And uh, again, thank you. So this is Roger in Kansas City, and I will... Talking to you soon. Bye bye. So this this video is for Art Bell. You know he passed away a few days ago on Friday the thirteenth of this year, two thousand eighteen. Uh, what a an appropriate day for him to go. Um, he is the king of conspiracy theorists. He he was the king of late night for for years, and uh, a huge influence on me as well as uh, just a friend to have around uh, late at night, way back before internet was around. So thank you, Art. Um, a lot of us are out here who are going to try to carry on what you started, but no one will ever beat what you did. Um, thanks again, Art.